interacting to season four, episode five of Teen Wolf. Last episode was a lot from us having a party, even though Lydia and her mom was definitely about to sell this house, to us finding out that there is essentially a code that is out there that has a password of Allison that is causing everybody to try to. I, like first we killed the Wendigo, and then now we have some high school students that knows Liam killing were a werewolf outside the party it is giving that it's like a heist if it's not a heist it's at least um the money is this has something to do with peter and the stolen money from episode one of the season since it has been kind of mentioned but i feel like peter's storyline has been in the back burner for a little bit and the berserkers who I, i'm going to assume is either with kate or surrounding kate a lot of stuff is going on so that's not even wasting any time so let's dive in <laughs> Uh, is that Kate? Who was chasing her? Or is her doing all these hops? Girl, you know, oh shit, werewolf. Okay. In a way, how you gonna explain this in school tomorrow? Girl, low key, I don't even know why they're acting defensive. I would have clawed that bitch, no shade. Like, we're literally, we're apex predators compared to these humans. Why are you, how are you? <laughs> using it as a belt okay 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 stand on it ain't no way can't believe you fell for that she really did go ahead and go ahead cuz next was the Marco he delivered a cake to the party of Lydia's lake house he got decapitated outside his car Found this list. Yeah, I guess it's they, I guess it's by points. She wrote it. Actually, she transcribed it without realizing it. Banshee, Banshee. Mm -hmm. Let's be fucking for and real. Broke a third of the list. And uh, we think there's two other cipher keys, which would all give us the rest of the names. Nothing. Well, maybe it won't work now since the guy's dead, maybe, naturally at this point. You can tell she getting frustrated, too. Good no, about ones. DeMarco or Carrie, right? But what about these other two names? That's uh, Kayleen Betcher and Elias Town. How many werewolves, banshees, kids and ace, what the hell else is out there are we right. talking about? I don't know, man. Maybe more. And what okay. happens if the next cipher key uncovers not not twelve names? Like who would like who would really get benefit this from besides like I know Peter somehow fucked up, but I just know Peter's a fucking. Omahawks, thermal cut wires. Mm. Take your head off. Okay, was also stabbed. Who's this one? We're not sure yet. We're still waiting on the ME's report. Right. Yeah, what the, who the fuck is this? Yep. And I. Girl, you ain't gonna cover that up. You all right? I can handle a scratch or two. It's not that we were wanting to talk to you. It's that we were wondering if you wanted to talk to us. About what? About something that you forgot to mention. I was going to tell you. We were going to tell you everything. About you know, the Deadpool, the assassins. He is not on that. Killings, you know. But I don't want you to worry. You don't know about that. I was talking about you joining the lacrosse team. Yeah, not that, sweetie. But, <laughs> but let's follow that. Well, I remember he said he lived in that housing development on Spalding. So I went there, and guess what? That housing development is still in development. Really soon. Running the school for no reason. Disappearing at parties. Who are you talking about? Best friend. I mean, well, besides that. You know who you're playing, right? Yeah. I mean, no. I, I guess I missed the announcement. Liam, it's your old school. Done for the prep. Okay, Derek? How do you keep getting into school? Like, there's no security here? Come on now. Derek, why would you provoke this boy? Cause, yo, he yo, he got a problem with that. <laughs> he not messing with him right now. Cause why would he do that? Yeah. Look at Derek being like a proud dad. He like, yeah. That's a good king right there. <laughs> Our names are on that list. It is. And that's what we should be focused on. Right. Fuck Kate. Because Kate. Do you Kate, think Lydia can get that second key? Kate on a fucking vacation. Please stop hovering. <laughs> I'm not hovering. I'm waiting. Breathe. Feel something. Write something. We need 
to know who else is on that list. She said, girl, me? You're making me nervous. She, she, the C next to her? Oh, she's serious. Maybe we need help. Okay, we're well, Another? Okay. We, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, There's no way you got these dead body pictures so in school where equipment. everybody can look over your oh, shoulder and see that. I can barely afford the duct tape to keep our equipment together. Styles is unserious. You look like he ain't cover, like, confiscated. Like, you know how teachers be stealing shit. Oh. Yeah. Yep. This, this is pointless. Most of the team plays with their own gear. Maybe instead of trying to find a lacrosse stick with a hidden dagger in it. We should be trying to get the game canceled. Census, anyway. Right. How do they even know about me? I know about everyone. Right. I don't think Jim is right. I think we should stop the game. What are we gonna do about it? Well, I'm terrified, and I'm not even on the list. <laughs> right. Guys, these are professional killers. It's their profession. Yep. They don't One of them's got a thermal cut wire that cuts heads off. Not this species, which is very rare and very expensive. What's mm. that supposed to mean? Don't screw up? Yeah. Don't miss. There's an entire pack Scott! of after McCall. And oh, so they know Liam is a beta it. now. They know Liam is it. It's a lot of money. Bitch, you think... So is the beta. There's no way. They kind of sneaky with it. Like, there's no way. Y'all gonna kill, try to kill this boy in 4K? I'm not plucking piano strings for two hours waiting for some supernatural inspiration. Fine. Right. What else do the Banshees do? Do you think I know? Now, do you see them kids in the back listening? That's when I, that's, that's realistically when y'all keep talking loud and not talking low. <laughs> this shop! <laughs> that's cute, Leo. Thought they told you to say in anger management, apologize, and everything's fine. We don't have anger management. We have beating your ass management, but, uh. Oh, he bought the, oh, he bought the crack that boy. How is it his fault? Look at him, he like, uh. The fuck? Low key. Are you calm yet? Barely. Look at him. He about to snap. Okay. It's like the whole squad. No, no shade. You gotta be honest with us. Right. We put our lives on the line here. What else happened? Nothing. Boy. It's anti-psychotic. Oh, uh, it just gets better. But I don't take it. Obviously. Oh. I can't play lacrosse on it. It makes me too tired. Demarco. I want to brought the beer to the party. Remember the guy who was beheaded? Remember? What do you think the person who ordered the keg killed DeMarco? I know who paid for it. Oh, clock 13, boy! We know you're a snake, bitch! Demon, you're coming. Well, you're probably not going to die today, but listen. Should we do something now? You're, really? We can. We're not really sure if it's really him. If we're wrong. A teenager. Let's be, let's, let's be real. Dad, you're pushing 30. Where the hell are you? Oh, this conversation missing. doesn't get me there any quicker. Okay, Meredith. You're welcome to Lydia. Girl, you better give us tea. And that's what I mean. Give us some tea. Oh, you, you think you're doing? You feeling him? What? Me? Agree with you. He he likes that agreeable. man. He wants to destroy me. I think. Well, do, is he feeling him. you too? Cause why is he looking over here? And then give him to me. <laughs> Big dirt nerd you can tell he he fucking reached peak in high school he's gonna bury his fucking money in high school but i've been searching ever since you handed me the shotgun shell that's not possible bring her ass to the grandpa let them have a bomb kind of werewolf jail i guess something like that yep and get it back at first i just thought i was a part of my past but then he is looking at him in the background getting ready. I'm suggesting we set up again. He's not letting that happen, boo. Right, because now we're about to catch this, and it's about to be you catching an L tonight. Scott, don't even try to have us lose. We gotta win. We gotta humble these motherfuckers real bad. The song? Sad. Like. Look at him. Look at this bitch. Scott, you don't see them looks? Cause Scott, this ain't a kumbaya. This is not a kumbaya. I'm about to get messy. What? Let's go 
plan. 15 minutes. Oh, thank you. Amazing time. 15 minutes? Thought you went to like five or two. I'm sorry. You called Lydia? Yeah. That's what they used to call psychics. Intuitionists. Yeah, and you're too intuitioning our ringing. business. Can you back up, sir? Such as the police. It's not ringing. Okay, so why did you come here then? If we're not getting voices, you're not getting rings? Go home, man, man. Yeah. Yeah, yep. We, 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 yep. The zoom in on the one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck this coach. He will let motherfuckers with broken elbows and ankles play the next day, but... I f Can you get the fuck out of here? Your cover ain't even good. Like, you all in our face. Like, we know it's you, dude. There it is. Can I ask you a question? Look at you. Oh my God, I'm getting actually annoyed. When you need help. Four. What the fuck is a joke? Three. Six. Phone numbers are ten digits. That's the number. Meredith. Phone numbers always have ten digits. Maybe you don't for this that's one. The number. Just call the number, that's, bro. That's the number. That's the number. Call the just call that's the number, the damn it. That's the number. If Kate pulled up to this shit and be like, hey brother, like, I'm gonna actually start laughing. Cause she needs to be dead. <laughs> she shouldn't be living even past this episode where Oh my god. In Mexico, we just call this a standoff. What is fucking Annoying as dry cut up Bob. Oh my god, here she go. Fuck that. I hope he knocked oh, out. No shade. <laughs> no shade. Back off. Talk my son, you gonna break you into pieces and guess what? He's he's still here. Yeah. It's him. Oh he figured it out. Lovely work. Because I hope the girl in the crowd smacks the fuck out of her boyfriend when he gets done his match. Because who are you convincing that is not you? In a way, in a way, Malia is helping you out with this. While he's over there screaming at this girl. But then I was like. Okay, Kate is in there. Okay, lovely work. Yeah, she's there. All right, we're missing something. Guys, but he just broke another third of the list. Am I on it? No, it's someone else's. This well. That's hilarious work. He's an out. I just, like, what? no way. Why are you doing this? I just love. Whatever you Stop it right now. Keep that man away from this girl right now. I'm so serious. Yep, he's clapped. Saying that this boy just got murdered at this game. Oh, he's still alive. No way she's trying to get him. You're not getting Alpha Sleepy. You're not getting Alpha Sleepy. Get her out of here. Like, okay. She said I'm going after the Alpha and then she does this shit. Yes, lazy ass. You're not in the fucking pilot of the season. You didn't do nothing but sit here and let the fucking teenager do your job. You're fucking useless. Girl, we don't care anymore. No. I don't know why y'all are This dry lip, small lip bitch. She's. Girl, nobody's saying that shit. Nobody's saying that shit, sweetie. Okay, and what significance does that have for you? Like, you wanted to hear him say the words for what? Because you didn't hunt nobody that did, like, I fucked. This episode went by so fucking fast. I didn't even fucking pay attention that the time was out. You know, <laughs> everybody pissed me off this episode. So, you know what? I'm just going to rant this whole fucking time. Let me talk about her first since she just in my mind right now. Y'all hunters are a joke. And I'm tired of acting like y'all are not. I already went on the origins for their little dumbass rendezvous for two to three seasons. So I'm going to get in your ass right next. Now, you're pushing 50, 60. And yet, you got this damn walkie-matalkie dude just sitting here and repeating this line. And your thing is, 
You love to sit here and have all these people say these lines and say this shit. And then you have them, you ask these questions when you know the fucking answer. You mean to tell me after us starting the season off and Scott and them did not know who the fuck you were talking about. And then you had to hint to us that you're talking about Kate. You sat there and then sent another person to do your dirty work. You are a fucking professional hunter, lady. How is you in a stiff ass, un un cut? Stiff as Bob, still sitting here making these unprecedented trips to then have people in Beacon Hill find and figure out your issue. You had Kate in your crib for however long and sat here and played jokes instead of killing that bitch. Now she's here in Beacon Hills with, with Derek losing powers after her predatory ass was in here when y'all had a chance to kill her several times. Therefore, every person that Kate has killed after leaving your place has been due to you. So why are you coming to Christopher talking about some what's our code? Say it, say it, Allison, yada, yada, yada. When you should want the bigger problem, which is how the fuck did you let her escape you in the first place? You had Kate in your cage. Your gated community sitting here making jokes and shit and feeding her food and hors d'oeuvres when well, you should have been killing that bitch. There is just no way that y'all are sitting here making the making it Scott's and them's problem when you had her in your house. Are you serious? And then you come here acting like you're the big threat. If I don't suck your old ass girl, get out of my house. Are you serious? Y'all keep come y'all keep coming into these people's houses just making Making blackmailing demands, sis. We have too many people trying to kill us right now. You worry about what your stiff ass head doing. You need to stop putting that lipstick on. You have no damn lips for you to be talking this much. You talk so much, the lips is gone. Stop talking. I don't know how nobody didn't slap you or kill you yet because there's just no way that you're over here telling Christopher about what he should be doing to his own sister when you had his sister and didn't tell nobody you had her until you lost her and then she killed a couple people along the way. Now you want to give Kate in our fucking laps and have us play peekaboo to find this bitch? Are you serious? These are, like, all this hunter bullshit. These people are 20, 30 years in this professional career. And then they keep asking these teenagers to help them kill these niggas. I've never, I don't understand this. These are 30, 40 year hunters that came to Beacon Hill to hunt werewolves and they haven't killed anyone major yet besides teenagers who maybe been a day or two old and if it and it's not even them killing them it's the other supernatural villains coming in to kill these kids how how did these hunters not kill any of these werewolves until a bounty came from peter's money where was this school where was these students at before was y'all in the other part of town killing people why did it just take now for these hunters to start doing their job this girl talking about something, it takes more money to get this yellow substance to kill an alpha and beta. Where the hell, why have we not seen any of the artists doing this? You know how many times the artists could have easily murked Peter ass? Peter done survived like three fucking assassins. I don't even know how that's possible. Y'all are, pro are trained professionals. This is a joke. Y'all motherfuckers got books of, y'all got encyclopedias about enemies and then y'all and then y'all still are lost y'all then go to other people y'all go to teenagers who only been doing this shit for two years and it's like you know what kate's at i know you know where she's at no you don't you don't even know where they don't even know what you're talking about they're trying to figure out if they can live next week because there's people trying to kill them and you ask him to find some damn where coyote i mean where jaguar <laughs> girl who you know what, since so we're talking about the damn bounties, can we talk about Jason, Stranger Thing ass? Boy, are you serious? You know, I knew that the Samantha, I knew Samantha Logan character, she probably wasn't going to give a fuck. Is her name Violet? I knew she wasn't going to give a fuck. But that damn boy Jason could do a good job in being the less obvious person on the planet. I figured that, I was like, maybe they're talking about Liam, but I was like, Liam doesn't seem like he's on the list. And it's going to take a while if you're telling me two-thirds is still not found. I figured that he had to be not on the list, right? Miraculously, it's somebody on the team. That's hilarious. But then to sit here, I mean, that makes sense as to why he was like, I'm gonna break your bones in your body. Whatever. But to sit here and walk around Scott more than the damn dude you're going to kill, hilarious work. This dude sat here and walked around Scott 55 times with the most demonish face on the planet, just smirking at him, like, 
Um, uh, I know you know it's me. When y'all like y'all only been doing this for two days, like y'all y'all just got to this school for like maybe a couple days, and what if y'all fail to kill this alpha? He's an alpha. He's not a beta. He's not an omega. He's not a new. He's not a new werewolf. He's very much two to three years in his prime, and y'all sit here and y'all like, damn, I'm gonna tell him who I am. I'm a. I'm going to tell him who I am early so y'all can, so I can just walk around, intimidate him. Y'all, like, he just literally was just walking around Sky 25-7. I'm going to say it, an extra hour, because that's how much he was overdoing it. Instead of 24-7, it's 25-7. This man was just rotating around Scott consistently. Like, you could have just got home if you wanted it. Just for him to just get this weak-ass beta, because that motherfucker, he need to go for y'all. You know what? He lucky. I thought he was going to be gone. He lucky, because he's still an op. He can die later on. Don't give a fuck. Anyways, I mean, man, fuck it. They might try to have him and fucking Liam Bond and be like, damn, you're not, you're, you're a werewolf too. Shit, me too. No, you're done. You're done, because you were trying, because you, you, you're a werewolf, and you knew you had a werewolf, and you got werewolf strength, and you tried to get him. So if he wasn't a werewolf, he would have broke that motherfucker's arm. And he meant that. Therefore, you got to die regardless. May not be in the next episode, but you're dying, Brett. I'm making it my fucking promise. But anyways, this dude is sitting here just flexing it. Then you got this damn girl violent. She over here like, oh, I'm going to get a two for one. Y'all that damn broke? Y'all are like 16. What the fuck are y'all going to do with this money? There is no way in hell. Like, Listen, I understand if it was adults. These are teenagers talking about some, yo, I want this bread so bad. Like, she just better have a sad story to where her mom and dad is like, damn near campaigning next electric gas bill. There better be something so heartwarming about Violet that she has to be this thirsty for money as if there isn't other contenders. How about you worry about killing them other hunters? No, you're worried about this money as if this money is coming ASAP. What are you going to do with that money? You clocking into schoolwork and then clocking into murder activities right after? You were just too damn greedy. You could have killed Brett and then saved another thing for Scott. You sat there and tried to get Scott. You tried to best an alpha. Two kills in one day and then thought that y'all was going to walk up them steps and no one's going to notice that y'all killed them? Really? On school's grounds. This girl thought she was going to get a two for one deal combo. Are you delusional? An alpha, and you just talked about we gotta stay on the beta, the beta, the beta. We gotta stay to the beta, the beta, the beta. And then look what you did. So listen, I knew you were gonna come. And then what? You just got knocked out. <laughs> you just got knocked out. And now I'm happy they actually didn't waste my time because this season is short, so it's gonna. They said they can't waste no time. Like we gotta get to Kate. So like, girl, you're just on the back burner. You're probably gonna get wrapped up in about two to three episodes. Maybe at least by episode 10, you're getting wrapped up in a body bag. <laughs> Cause the way that y'all are killing people, they do not care. She's out here choking them with a damn whip. She has to go. And if it's not her, her boyfriend gotta go. He is too, he is too cocky for my taste. He has, we haven't even seen him do kill. One thing we saw with this little weak ass knife he got from the fucking the crossbow. Oh, okay. Girl out here with a damn a necklace whip killing people and you over here do, he, he did the most for that stab like we get it we get it we already we already know and if we didn't know behind the beginning of this episode or the middle of this episode before we came into this match we would have knew the way you were staring at us 55 times hell i would have thought that he would have been the one that was trying to stab him <laughs> Yo, y'all are done. Y'all are dumb. I, but I just know that they're probably going to be done rather shortly. And they're going to probably be another assassin. But my thing is, is that I feel like Meredith knows. Obviously, she knows. We're going to get the two codes. And I feel like Malia and Liam may be the last ones on the list, I fear. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Because maybe it's not updated. I don't know. Maybe it's like within like the last year. So I don't know if they're like routinely doing it because so far I've been people that have been already like an established this. Like Malia and Liam are still new to this or new to being introduced to this kind of realm. And I don't feel, and I, and I would really be curious if even though like Peter is obviously Malia's father, would she be on the list? Like that's what I need to know because they're the two last ones that we need to know that's on the list 100%. Leave. But there's just no way that like somebody knew this. Like I just feel like there's no way that people knew this. Like even. Even the hunt, the biggest hunters of them all, they don't even know that many people are like fucking werewolves or whatever. They had to have a list. 
And clearly the list what gave it to them because they don't even know that Liam is a werewolf. And he's shown in very tendencies of being very different than what he normally does. And they didn't even bat an eye. So it's clearly a list of people that, like, it has to be a, a handpicked list. And knowing how Peter is now just so fucking quiet, I just know that whatever he did, he caused this shit. Whoever he pissed off, he needs, Peter needs to go. Like, Peter, like, mind you, everything is kind of starting because of Peter. Like, let's be honest. Like, everything is starting because of Peter. Let's be honest. Peter started all this shit. He was out here killing people, turning Scott into a werewolf. Then they made the block hot, which made the artists come, which then made, which then led to the damn reptile came because then there, I mean, then because he then he bit, he then he been in scratch Lydia and shit, and then Jack, then I let the dairy fucking turn in Jackson because Jackson now got known into this fucking thing. Then you got the damn fucking um. Season three with the alphas who coincidentally was interloped with fucking Peter's mom. Like y'all, like y'all are just causing this. Peter is the fucking source of all these problems. Instead of it being a team wolf, it should be called Peter Wolf because he's a fucking problem for everything. And then he over here harassing Lydia all last season about well, who the fuck was his daughter and then had not talked to her yet. We only saw her talk about with what in the pilot. Even though she does not want to fuck with you, you still could have been indicated to be like a, like you want to try like how Scott Dad was. You have not tried to talk to Malia yet. Yet. You buried this fucking money in the school. You can at least show them at the school to try to help your daughter learn. Dumbass. You know, anyway, though, my season four episode five reaction to Team Wolf. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for my Team Wolf reactions. Page I'm like, blood for Team Wolf, Charm, and Nana reactions. Should I really talk soon? I upload. Until next time, make sure we see.